Before the action got underway, there were three awards for Roger Federer. The ATPWorldTour.com fans' favourite trophy, the Stefan Edberg Sportsmanship Award and the 2009 Player of the Year Award. In the third round, Federer faced Marcos Bagdatis, who he'd beaten in all six of their previous meetings. But the Swiss was not going to have it all his own way. However, the world number one showed enough flashes of brilliance to take the opening set. After ten games of deadlock in the second set, the match was turned on its head when Bagdatis broke the world number one serve and went on to level the match. Into the third set, it would need a tie-break to separate them, and the Cypriot was the strongest. A night to remember for Marcos and his ecstatic entourage. In the fourth round, world number two Novak Djokovic came up against 31-year-old Ivan Lubacic. The Croat hadn't dropped a set at the tournament, and his big serving momentum was too much for Djokovic. Another shot at Indian Wells. After seeing off Juan Monaco, Lubacic met defending champion Rafa Nadal in the semi-finals. The man from Mallorca raced into an early lead, but Ivan dug deep. Nadal held firm though and broke again to take the first set. Into the second set and the Spaniard continued to put pressure on the Lubacic serve. The Croat was not about to be overawed though. And in the tenth game of the second set, Lubacic had the chance to level the match. Into the decisive third set, it would take a tie-break to settle it, and Nadal had no answer to his opponent's all-round game. Ivan through to the final, but who would he face? In the other half of the draw, Robin Sodling and Andy Roddick did battle. Roddick started brighter and made his first set-point count. <laughs> but events in Indian Wells were becoming impossible to predict. In the second set, Suddling responded. But the Swedes' first ever ATP World Tour Masters 1000 semi-final would end in defeat. Local hero Andy with a little too much in the locker. So Lubacic Roddick in the final will have highlights later in the show. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we stay stateside as we bring you a special behind-the-scenes report from the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami. And we speak to Holland's Raymond Schleuter. Personal tragedy took him away from the game. Now he's fighting his way back into the top 50. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.